Rick Barber here. Um, let me start this video with a rather sad story. About two uh, miles from my shop, uh, my Ace Hardware went under, and I depended on them for all of my hex head quarter 20 volts for varying lengths. So when they went under, the first time I needed some oddball size that wasn't in my scrap box, I had to drive 14 miles round trip to the nearest Home Depot. Clearly that wasn't very useful. So uh, I decided that the next time I was at Home Depot I would lay in a supply of varying lengths of uh, quarter 20 volts. And if you ever tried to do that, first thing you realize is that they sell these questionable value bolts, questionable quality, uh, in limited lengths. So I bought what they had but it really wasn't very much. And I, I like to have bolts from three inches down to about three quarters of an inch. So uh, I got what I could and very quickly ran into problems doing that. So my next step was to get on eBay and uh, I discovered this company called uh, Lexar Industries and for $21 total, including shipping, I was able to buy 150 all-thread quarter 20 bolts. And that was great because then I could just trim them to any size I want. So the next step was to develop a tool that would let me do that. Now if I'm going to cut just one bolt, then I would just put it on the bandsaw and be done with it. It's no big deal. If I have to cut two bolts, well, probably do the same thing. But when you get to three or four, it gets tedious and it's difficult to be consistent. So at that point, it's worth having a tool, but the tool has to be easy to set up and uh, easy to use. So that's what we have here. If you look down this slot, at the bottom, it's threaded quarter 20, but the gap is uh, wide enough that there's a nice easy fit. On the back side, you can see, well, there's a cut in here where the saw goes, and on the left side of that saw cut, it's been cut out, and that gives me a place for the scrap part to fall out and be pushed out. So, what I do is I drop it in the jaws of my bandsaw, and without the saw running, I slide the blade down and lock it in, lock in the fixture. Then the next step is, let's say this is the bolt that I want to duplicate three more times. Hmm? So I don't want to measure anything. Measuring just gets you inaccuracy. So I'm going to stick that bolt right up there. And that's the length I want. Take my ball thread and I'm just eyeballing it a little bit. And that's the length it's going to be. It needs to be in order to uh, be cut right at the slot. Now this stop over here is 3 8 inch threaded rod. It has a 10th inch recess in it and that helps to hold the, the bolt being cut steady. So I've turned this knob, fed it in so that it's a snug fit on the bolt, and then I'm going to use a wrench. Just to snug that up so that this rod is nice and rigid. And I'm ready to go. So here's the bolt that I want to cut. Start my saw. I simply push the bolt into that recess, and the action of the saw blade, as you well know, causes the bolt to rotate. But I'm using that to my advantage because as it rotates, it's grabbing the thread in the bottom of the slot and driving the bolt tighter into the stop. So as I cut, you might see this bolt head lunge a little bit 
in a clockwise direction, but then it stops, and shortly after that, the bolt is cut. Okay, this time it didn't turn at all, and I'm done. And there's the strap. That's the first one. I'll do another one. This time I think I'll intentionally back it out so you can see the rotation a little better. Notice that when it's rotating, it's tearing up the threads on the bolt. Oh, you see that? But that's okay because it's, it's tearing up the scrap part. So that one's done. And I want one more. Now, there is an alternative way to use this fixture with the bolt up against the, uh, the stop. Some people like that because then, regardless of the length of the starting bolt, they're all cut to the same length. What I don't like about this is that if it rotates, it's tearing up threads that you want to use. Because if it's like here, it's going to spin it to there, so it's going to tear it up. So if you use it this way, you really want to manually snug it in. And then it should be fine. So now we have our three bolts. They're all cut to exactly the same length and hopefully they're the same length as the bolt we want to duplicate. And the next step is we want to bevel these. Now, the, to bevel them, also called a Higby, you just want to bevel the thread. You don't want to bevel the body of the bolt. And on a quarter twenty bolt, that means seventeen thousandths of an inch is all you need to take off. So I've got this fixture. Now, this is a little more complicated than the one shown in the plans. Uh, the one in the plans has a hole that's simply forty-five degrees back like this. I made it a compound angle of 45 and 45, uh, but I don't think that's necessary. So, very simply, the bolt drops in the hole, you give it a twist, 180 degrees, take it out, you're done. And because of this angle, the body of the bolt, the perimeter of the bolt right on the corner there, is exposed about 50 thousands of an inch. So all you do is push this into a belt sander, which I'll show you in a minute, and it takes off just the thread. Um, there's two neodymium magnets that are bedded into holes, drilled by a uh, 6.5 millimeter end mill. Could also drill with just a uh, F drill. Put them in the holes and then I peened it just to hold it in. There's a stop on this side that catches the table, but uh, when using it, you really want to press down on this block because it can slide. So hang on while I jostle the camera, and we'll move over to the band, to the belt saw, and uh, I'll show you belt saw, the belt sander, and I'll show you how to how to finish up the belt. See that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I take my fixture, and I've already set it up, but I'm just going to test it. So you see it's not touching. Turn on the bolt standard, my first bolt. Looks like I took off maybe a little bit too much. It's not critical, um, but if I wanted to adjust that, then I just adjust the stop on the back. It's just something I can slap on real fast. Now that'll go on my uh, grinding wheel too, but uh, I like the belt sander. I think it's it's a bit safer. Uh, certainly not going to explode on me, and. Uh, 
it does an adequate job. So now I've got my three bolts all finished and uh, I'm ready to complete my next project. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.